Exciting episode of What the Fuck's for Dinner. Got my lovely wife Teresa here with me today. Today we're doing a real simple one. It's this street tacos. They're, everybody's buying them everywhere. We got some carne asada. It's already marinated, already cooked. She, she's going to start chopping it up right now. And you just cook it, it cooks fast. You can buy it already marinated which I did I, I went to the Mexican store so just make sure when you go make sure that butt don't make sure there ain't no bones in the motherfucker yeah there's a lot of weight <coughs> bones it's but good. you can just buy a flank or skirt steak marinated um, there's you know several different recipes online a lot of lime juice yeah um, garlic chili powder um, you can chop it up beforehand and cook it in a pan with onions and garlic and lime juice um, but we kind of did the quick, easy, and grill. It's a real simple dish, but like everything I want to fuck for dinner, you eat with your eyes, so we're going to show you a twist of how to serve this shit, okay? And then we're going to have some rice with some uh, lotas. Or street so corn. It's, it's a street taco, so we're doing the street corn with it with a little bit of rice. So she's going to get this all prepped and everything. It's like super simple, and when you serve this on the white serving tray, what what we're gonna do is well, we're just gonna have to wait to watch for that. It's gonna be amazing. People's minds will be blown. Take a simple dish, make it something special, and like you can see, she's uh, chopping it up in little fine chunks, little fine chunks here. So that's gonna take a minute to get all chopped up. You can see how it's all. It's tender, it's a quick cooking steak, so. Yeah, very quick cooking. So, uh, this is what we got going today. It's a street taco with rice and alotas. And she's gonna finish chopping this up. And then we're gonna come back and show you how to put this out. It's a quick, easy dish. It's gonna be a fast video, just stay to the end. If you ain't already subscribed, subscribe, like. Tell your friends, quick, Share. easy, fast dishes and how to cook this. So. She's going to finish chopping that up. And like as always on what the fuck, we, we always start the show. The shot, we did not. What a shot for the food gods. So, let's do a shot. And then we'll come right back. Use this hand, it's not greasy. Salute. Salute. The food gods. Cheers. for dinner and as you can see we got your street tacos very simple dish she just Love sliced display. up the meat so i'm just gonna you see the flour tacos here of course they're already plated there so your guests can just grab them yeah they're small tacos they're, they're, they're real sore so we just take a little bit of onion throw on your little tacos here a little bit of the cilantro. A little bit of the lime juice. A little avocado. You can add pico de gallo. You can add pico, whatever, whatever you like, or however you want to set it up. You can set it up anyway. Put a little rice on there, Paul. And then I'm going to do a little bit of uh, Mexican street corn, which is just um, the sauce is just a little bit of mayo and sour cream. And you just kind of spread it all around your corn. You can boil your corn, you can grill your corn, you can bake your corn, however you like to make your corn in the cob. Just put a little of the little mayo sour cream mixture on there. When I was a little boy, we went to Mexico and the guy would have the cart. Little tajit, tajit. I don't know how to pronounce this. Tajin. Tajin. 
Spice. Spice. And he'd come down the thing with his cart and he'd scream, Lotas! And he'd scream it real loud and everybody come running. A little Gajado cheese. Basically the ice cream man of Mexico. He'd scream, fucking Lotas! And little kids come running, losing their fucking mind. And so, some of Beto's famous Spanish rice. And this sauce is real simple it's sour cream and mayo with, with uh, a little bit of Parmesan, a little bit of the GG sauce. Let's just get this stuff because this stuff's really good. You could use cumin and chili powder, um, but they sell this at the Mexican stores. They sell it at all these anywhere. I love that place. So That's we it. have a beautiful street taco with Spanish rice and elotes, otherwise known as street corn. Street corn. So yeah. very simple, very beautiful. But when you have guests over, you can make a little fun display. The flour. You got your onions. And you got your sauce. Um, you have you all the toppings. You can throw your salsas in, cheeses, whatever you may like out there. But this is a good way to do like a little fun. <laughs> Street taco bar, um, but your guests will remember you. Beautiful Make and a results. simple dish. You can buy the meat already marinated at the Mexican store. Or super you can simple, it yourself super with easy. Your wonderful recipes. But you do that, motherfuckers are gonna remember. They're gonna remember this dinner. They're gonna say, "Man, remember when you made that shit?" That's what you want. You want to work less, fucking make make people wonder how the fuck you did that. Because you're a what the fuck for dinner maniac. That's why. That's right. Mayo, sour cream. Uh, Cajado cheese, or Cajado you can use Parmesan if you don't Parmesan have it. Parmesan or this. However you just like to cook put your Put that corn. on your thing. Simple, easy it's stuff you normally would make. You can just add a little twist to it and make it what the fuck's for dinner. That's right, that's right. Because you never know what's going to happen. Like the other day we were at it back from Bay City and we're and I'm driving and I wasn't paying attention, but <laughs> I, I fucking was parallel parking in, in fucking Saginaw and uh, so when we left the next day, I'm driving down the highway and I looked down and I said, honey, I'm doing 110. And she said, 110, I, I gotta slow down. I can't do a fucking 110, speed limit's only 70. So I start fucking slowing down and I'm looking at her, I'm just like. We're crawling at this point. It was like we were in a fucking twilight zone. Like, what oh the fuck gosh. is wrong with my car? My car's fucking going nuts. We gotta pull over, we gotta pull over, we're gonna break down. My car don't show. And I looked down and then, as cars are flying by me. We were the old milkshakes on Sunday. <laughs> so I fucking love Sunday it. driving. It switched to kilometers on my ass. So I was fucking doing 110 kilometers, and when I went to 80, I was doing like fucking 40, because the fucking Canadians, you know, fucking 110s fucking ain't nothing. And uh, thank God we didn't get in. I was just like, oh, we're in a fucking twi And I know we were hung over like a motherfucker, because we partied our asses off up there. But, uh. That was crazy. That shit. ever happens to you. These fucking new cars, they don't show both. Well. They just show one, and it, it fucked me up, man. I tell you what, I was like, I was waiting for that motherfucker to start talking and shit with the fucking do -do 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 shit. So that's another exciting, amazing dinner. But what the fuck for dinner? That's why you watch this show. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes from me and my lovely wife. Salute. Salute. Enjoy. Have a great evening. And that is what, what the, the fuck fuck's for dinner. dinner.